Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another very quick Ableton tip. Um, if you use the reverb that comes stock in Ableton, um, and you just say you drop it on, you know, right here. If you notice, it goes quality comes on to eco, which is economy, which isn't the best, and then you have mid, and then you have high. Now, whenever I'm pr doing production, I always come in and change it to high. So why should I have to do that every time? So now that I have that on high, I come over here to the little floppy disk icon and I click that. And then as you can see, I've got this preset now saved over here and I could write reverb high quality and hit enter. And now that that's saved, um, I could delete that. And now I can always just come into reverb and come down here and drop it in and boom I won't have to do that anymore and uh, you know just doing this isn't a lot it doesn't save a ton of time it doesn't take me too long but you know sometimes you might forget that it's on mid quality and you really should have it on high quality for that you know that project you're getting paid all that money for uh, you know this is just a good way to not forget and obviously if you always bring your dry wet down to about 30% to start and you like to start at 30% and decay time at you know 60 seconds then you can save it like that too and just make sure you give it a clever name so you remember what your preset is but saving presets saves time that's your quick tip later